So you may be interested to know why uh, do Kp and Kc change with temperature when they don't change with uh, any change in pressure and concentration? So, um, well, we need to look at the Arrhenius equation, first of all. Um, and this you covered in the rates topic. Um, and uh, those are the terms that we will be looking at. And in particular, we'll be looking at the rate constant, which is K, and the activation energy, which is Ea. So we can uh, look at the Arrhenius equation at two different temperatures. Um, and what this is basically telling us is that if uh, T2 is greater than T1, then that expression becomes negative. And because uh, we have minus the activation energy on top, then the right-hand side becomes positive uh, because R, which is the gas constant, is always positive. And that results in the rate constant uh, K2 being larger than K1. And therefore, an increase in temperature increases the rate constant, which is what you'd expect from the uh, rates topic which you've studied. Uh, so when we go back to the Arrhenius equation, uh, we can see that the um, effective temperature on K is proportional to the activation energy. Um, so as our activation energy increases, the effect of change in temperature will increase. And we know that in um, an equilibrium, one direction of the reaction is always exothermic and the other one is endothermic. And the endothermic direction will have the larger activation energy. So let's just double check that. If we go back to our sulfur dioxide equilibrium, um, delta H tells us that the forward reaction is exothermic and that's our activation energy. And the backward reaction is endothermic and that's the activation energy for the backward reaction, which you can see is uh, much greater than that of the exothermic activation energy. Um, so therefore, we know that when our temperature increases, both rates will increase, but the rate of the endothermic reaction will increase more, and therefore the equilibrium will shift in the endothermic direction. But when the temperature decreases, again, the both rates will decrease, but the rate of the endothermic direction will decrease more, and therefore the equilibrium will now shift in the exothermic direction. Uh, raising the temperature will therefore increase Kc for an endothermic direction and lower Kc or Kp for an exothermic reaction. So this video was uh, extension material. You don't need it for your A-level course um, as long as you understand how temperature will affect uh, the equilibrium constants uh, for exo and endothermic uh, reactions.